Thank you, Dawson. Continuing our look at this morning's flash flooding, firefighters with the Lafayette Fire Department rescued several people who were trapped in their homes and vehicles. News 10's Jasmine Dean has more. When it comes to flash flooding, Lafayette is no stranger in seeing just how high floodwaters can get. This is why first responders want to remind people to use caution whenever they see floodwaters. This video is just one of the rescues the Lafayette Fire Department made early Wednesday morning. Heavy rain resulted in flash flooding throughout areas in Lafayette Parish. Because of this, Alton Trahan with the Lafayette Fire Department says they received multiple calls about people being stuck in their homes and vehicles because of flooding. So far we've had over 20 um, incidents we had to respond to somebody either was trapped or in either the home or inside the car are just concerned about the water that was rising so quick. He says because first responders are trained in rescues involving floodwaters, if someone is ever in a situation where they are trapped, call 911. The first responders, be it the fire department, you know, law enforcement, um, have certain training to go into you know, flash flooding you know, conditions. He says low-lying areas are prone to flooding like in Scott, Karen Crow, and even on Ambassador Caffrey Parkway, where more of the rescues were made. Plus, we have all the tools, you know, that's needed. Um, so then we can go into the high water area and if it's too high, then we have those small little boats where we can transport someone out of the high water into a higher ground. If you are driving and are unsure how deep the water may be, it is better to be safe than sorry and not drive through it. Obviously, if you see it, like we just suggested, stop. Do not continue to travel in high water. In Lafayette, Jasmine Dean, KLFY News 10.